This Get Started in PDM demonstration shows how the implementation of a product data management system helps engineers complete everyday tasks and processes more efficiently and with greater consistency. In this short demonstration, we will look at the following examples, creating a new part, analyzing a 3D assembly, and creating a report. In Team Center Express, we have a set of I want to shortcuts for everyday tasks. In this example, we select Create a Part. We can use the Assign option to automatically create the part number and revision. We can then key in values for the part name and description. When we click on Next, the system confirms that a new part will be created and a dialog is presented that allows us to input attributes for the new part. In this example, we enter an ERP number and continue to the next step in the wizard. On the next dialog, we key in attributes that are specific to this revision of the part. In the next step, we have the option to link this part to a project. Users will be able to search for all the parts associated with a specific project. The new part is automatically added to the New Stuff folder and displayed in the Explorer panel. We can expand this part to display the icons that represent the revision of the part and the form that stores the part's attributes. We will now use the Create a Dataset shortcut to associate an existing text file with this part. The file type is already set to text in this dialog. We will now browse our computer to find the text file, select this file, and click on OK to complete this task. We can see that an icon representing the file is added to the Explorer tree, and when we select this icon, the text file is displayed in the Viewer panel. Now we will show how a PDM system can be used to review, analyze, and mark up a 3D assembly. As we select different parts in the product structure, the part is highlighted in the Viewer panel. Here, we have selected a part, and we are using the Fly to Selected command to zoom in around this part. We now use the View Selected command to display this part by itself. Now we will add a panel of measurement commands to the viewer interface, and we will select a specific command to place a linear measurement between two key points on the part's geometry. A wide variety of linear, angular, surface area, and volume measurement commands are available. We select the part and the two key points, and the linear dimension indicating the overall length of this part is displayed. Note how the measurement display stays planar to the view when the geometry is rotated. Finally, we will show an example of generating a report on the data in our PDM database. Team Center Express supports a number of pre-configured reports to meet the daily reporting needs of the design department. Here, we have selected a report on all the parts in the database. We specify search criteria to filter the report results, in this case all the parts owned by a specific user, and then click on OK to generate the report. The report is displayed in a window and can be saved as a text or HTML file and, if required, added to the database. In summary, we have seen how Team Center Express uses wizards to guide users through everyday tasks, resulting in improved productivity reduced errors, and consistent working practices.